Good evening, my friends. I hope you're all doing well. And it's Friday, and I just wanted to read you a special story. It's called Rise and Shine, A Holiday Tale. In this story, Sophie and Sammy, who are the two main characters, find a special recipe for challah, a delicious braided bread eaten on Shabbat. The shape of the challah is a symbol in this book. The braiding is meant to look like our arms are crisscrossed, bringing love and peace into our homes in a warm, loving manner. Remember, to make challah, you have to make sure that the challah rise. And you could add some sesame seeds, poppy seeds, cinnamon, chocolate, and even raisins. When Sophie and Sammy go to their grandma and their older relatives, they bring their recipe to them and they show how much love and respect they have for them. So enjoy the book. And again, the name is Rise and Shine, A Holiday Tale by Karen Ostrov, who is the author who writes the words. I would like you to take a look at the front page. It has all the symbols that we use and practice on Shabbat, which are the candles, the challah, the juice, the wine, and I, hopefully you can see the Kiddush cup with the Star of David in the middle. Sammy and Sophie were spending the day up in the attic, a real fun place to play. Can we see all the things in the attic? Hopefully you see that beautiful treasure chest. As Sophie tried on an apron, she found a crumbled up paper that fell to the ground. What are these letters? Hey, what does it say? And Sophie tried turning it every which way. It looks like a language from a long, long time ago. Let's show Grandma Gerd. I'm sure she will know. Sweet Grandma Gerd and her sister Aunt Jenny live at Shalom House with great Uncle Benny and a crusty old fellow called Grumpy Old Ned who won't ever smile, he just grumbles instead. Where's our grandma, they asked at the door. It's exercise day, so she's on the third floor. Grandma and Jenny were bending and stretching. Benny was clapping and old Ned was fetching. Grandma Gerd, here's a mystery. Please take a look. We've never seen writing like this in a book. The writing is Yiddish, and this is my guess. It's a recipe written by my great grandma, Bess. And the group gathered round and agreed that they could read the old Yiddish as soon as they understood. And the directions and the clutching the paper, they ran into the kitchen to find a big pan. Grandma Gert's glasses were perched on her nose. She opened the cupboards and carefully chose. Flour, my darlings, just fill that bowl up. Put in some water, it needs a full cup. Benny was watching and quick to advise, yeast goes in next, it will make the thing rise. Egg and then oil were checked off the list. They reread the recipe, but nothing was missed. Punch it and knead it, said grumpy old Ned. Then roll it and braid it. It's challah, it's bread. 
everyone braided with three strands or four. Sophie and Sammy tried braiding with more. Brush on that glaze because the challah needs a finishing sprinkle of sesame seeds. Cleaning the kitchen, they made it crumb free. The challah was baking while Grandma made tea. Just for Shabbat, we made challah so fine, perfect with candles and grape juice or wine. Even grumpy old Ned broke out in a grin. A bubble of laughter burst out from within. Come back next week to make more bread, he pleaded. Your holiday visit was just what I needed. The end. I hope you enjoyed this book. Oi! So sorry.